in Jesus we pray. Kwa jina la Yesu tunaomba. Amen. Amina. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. We are in his presence. Tuko mbele za uwepo wake. Where God. Mahali Mungu is going to move in a supernatural. Ambaye anaenda kutenda mambo ya kiajabu. The topic of a message today. Sura ya siku ya leo. Breaking so ties. Ni kuvunja ile agano ya kiroho na watu walio wafu. Tuneba breaking so ties. Ambia jirani ni kuvunja agano ya kiroho na watu walio wafu. Tuneba breaking so ties. Ambia jirani ni kuvunja ile agano ya kiroho na watu. Now listen to me child of God. Nataka uweze kunisikia mwana wa Mungu. As I was coming here today, nikiwa ninakuja mali hapa siku ya leo. The Holy Spirit spoke to me. Roho Mtakatifu akanena nami. And he told me that since it is the first day, na akaniambia kwa sababu ni siku ya kwanza to be in his presence. Kuwa mbele yake kwa uwepo wake. On such a day, kwa siku kama huu, he's going to release a special anointing. Anaenda kuachilia upako wa kiajabu. Is going to release a special anointing. Anaenda kuachilia upako wa special. That whatever has been tying you today. Kila kitu ambayo imekuwa ikikufunga. As we are going to pray. Tukiwa tunaenda kuomba. God is going to release his anointing. Bwana anaenda kuachilia upako wake. God is going to release his power. Bwana anaenda kuachilia nguvu zake. That whatever has been tying you. Kwa kila kitu ambayo imekufunga. Physically spiritually. Ikiwa ni kihalisi na pia kiroho. You can mention it. Unaweza litaja. But God is opening the heavens. Lakini Bwana anafungua bingu. To release his supernatural power. Kuachilia nguvu zake za kiungu. That whatever has been tying you. Kwa kila kitu ambayo imekuwa ikikufunga. Right from the bottom of your feet. Kuanzia kati kaotoa miguu yako until the back of your head mpaka kwa kichwa cha utosi wako god is going to deliver you bwana anaenda kukuweka huru god is going to break it bwana anaenda kuivunja in jesus mighty name kwa jina la mungu yesu kristo listen to me child of god nataka unisikize mwana wa mungu today i feel the fire of god leo ninasikia naishi moto wa bwana i wish if you can walk with me ninaomba tu uweze kutembea nami our destination is greater na kuambia hatima yetu ni kubwa than your expectation kama vile wewe unatarajia in jesus kwa jina la Yesu Kristo. Ambia jirani breaking so ties. Ambia jirani tunavunja ile agano ambayo tuko nayo na kuvunja agano za walio wafu. Listen to me. Nataka uweze kunisikia. As we open our Bibles quickly. Tukiwa tunafungua Biblia zetu. In the book of 1 John. Katika kitabu cha Yohana ya kwanza. And we're going to start from verse number 9 chapter 1. Naenda kuanzia mstari wa 9 kiungo laka ya kwanza. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Listen what the Bible says. Hii ndio kile Biblia inasema. We're in the book of 1 John. Kitabu cha waraka wa kwanza Yohana. Chapter 1. Chapter 1. Kichwa chake ni kwanza. And we're going to start from verse number 9. Naenda kufungua mstari wa 9. Those who are watching us online just follow. Wale ambao wanatuzama kwa runinga wetu kwa kile. And God is about to do. Na utazame kile Bwana anatayari kufanya. Those who are here today. Wale ambao wako hapa siku ya leo. Just follow. Wewe fuatilia. And see what God is about to do. Na uone kile Bwana anatarajia kufanya siku ya leo. In your life today. Atalifanya siku ya leo. Today we are dealing with breaking so ties. Siku ya leo tunaongea juu ya kuvunja nafsi zilizoshika. In the name of Jesus, listen what the Bible says. Kwa jina la Yesu sikiza kile Biblia inasema. If we confess our sins, tukiwa tunatubu dhambi zetu. He is faithful and just to forgive us. Yeye ni mwaminifu na ili yeweza kutusamehe. Our sins, dhambi zetu, and to cleanse us. Na kutusafisha from all our unrighteousness na kututakasa kwa yale makosa yote ambayo tumeyatenda na listen to me child of god nataka unisikize mwana mungu when you operating under a soul tie wakati unaingia katika ile fungu la kufungwa kiroho for instance kama kwa kwa mfano you were born wewe uliweza kuzaliwa and your life has moved straight with god na maisha yako umetambatana na Bwana vizuri there walks in a spirit na katika kutembea katika kiroho that that spirit hiyo roho will come and invade your life itakuja na iweze kuingia katika maisha yako that's why when you hear there's someone inde wakati ambao unasikia kuna mtu who is walking and operating under an influence wakati mtu anatembea katika hiyo hali ya kiungu hizi of a demonic spirit ya roho is a kipepo which means ambaye inamaanisha when you are under an influence of a demonic spirit ikiwa chini ya mamlaka hizi nguvu za giza it can be a spirit of sin inaweza 
kuwa ni nguvu za dhambi it can be a spirit of any kind inaweza kuwa ni nguvu za aina yoyote but listen to me child of god lakini nataka unisikie mwana Mungu when the devil wants to tie you wakati shetani anataka kukufunga he makes it sure anahakikisha that you are not anywhere closer kuwa wewe uyuko karibu to righteousness na utakatifu Ah, this is what I here today. The devil makes sure Shetani anahakikisha you are nowhere closer. Kuwa wewe uyuko karibu to righteousness. Na utakatifu. That's why as a Christian. Hiyo ndio maana kama mkristo. When you come to where lies. Wakati unakuja that your life kama maisha yako is governed by God. Kuwa inatawaliwa na Mungu. You begin thinking about ambao unaanza kufikiria walking in the right path. Kutembea katika njia kamilifu of our Lord Jesus Christ. Ambaye ni Yesu Kristo. The Bible here says. Hiyo ndio maana Biblia hapa inasema. We confess our sins. Kwa sisi tukiwa tunaungama dhambi zetu. He is so just and faithful. Yeye ni mwenye haki na mwaminifu. To forgive or us our, to forgive us all our sins. Kutusamea dhambi zetu. Listen to me child of God. Nataka unisikie mwana Mungu. When you are forgiven, wakati umesamewa, you get closer to righteousness. Unakuwa karibu na utakatifu. When the devil is tying you, Shetani wakati anakufunga, you are nowhere close. Wewe uyukwa karibu to righteousness. Na utakatifu. Because you are under an influence. Kwa sababu uko chini ya mamlaka of the devil. Ya shetani. Everyone knows that Satan. Kila mmoja anajua shetani. He was one of the best singers. Alikuwa ni mmoja wapo wa wimbaji bora. Satan has the sweetest voice. Shetani ana sauti tabu nyororo. And he had the sweetest voice. Na ana ile sauti nyororo. But he could not stay in heaven. Lakini angeweza kuketi mbinguni. Because of his unrighteousness. Kwa sababu ya tabia yake ya kuokuto kuwa kamilifu. No, this is not your position. Mungu alisema hapana hii sio sehemu yako. Your position is hell. Sehemu yako ni kuzimu. Are we communicating? Je, tunazungumza? Am I talking to someone here today? Je, ninaongea na mtu siku ya leo? Now, sasa, when Satan wants to attack you. Wakati shetani anataka kukuandama. Am I communicating? Je, ninazungumza? He is going to make sure. Anaenda kuhakikisha that you are nowhere closer. Wewe uyuko karibu to righteousness. Na utakatifu. That's why you keep on getting tied every day. Hiyo ndio maana kila mara wewe uko katika kufungwa kila mara. Because Satan has disposition you. Kwa sababu shetani amekutoa katika uwepo. From a place of righteousness. Mahali pale patakatifu. Into a place of sin. Na akakuingiza kwenye dhambi. Now listen to me child of God. Nataka unisikie mwana Mungu. If you want to break all your so ties. Ukitaka kuvunja mamlaka yote ya kiroho. You must understand. Lazima uelewe that righteousness. Kuwa utakatifu. It, it should be one of your packages. Lazima iwe ni moja sehemu yako Let's go a little bit. Wacha tuongee kidogo. And slow. Na pole pole. When we open in the book of Matthew, tukizungumzia katika kitabu cha Mathayo, chapter 16 verse number 19. Kumi na sita mstari wake sita uh, uh, 19 oh. kumi na, kumi na tisa. 19. 19. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Matthew 16 19. Mathayo Kumi na sita. Are we already there? Kumi na tisa. Are we already there? Je, tuko tayari pale? There's something God wants to remind us. Maana kuna kitu Mungu anataka kutukumbusha. Hallelujah. We want to deal with the breaking so time. Maana siku ya leo tunataka kuingia katika hali ya kuvunja hii ramani ya kutushika na kiroho. You may be here today. Unaweza kuwa hapa siku ya leo. There's something tying you. Lakini kuna kitu ambayo imekufunga. You may be here today. Je, unakuwa leo hapa? There's a breakthrough. Lakini kuna upenyo. That has been tied somewhere. Ambayo imefungwa mahali. You need to understand this principle. Lazima uelewe hili maana. Now listen to me shall of God. Nataka uni kwa mwana Mungu. The Bible says and I will give you the keys of na, the kingdom of heaven. Na Biblia inasema nitakupatia ufunguo ya ufalme wa mbinguni. And whatever you bind on earth. Na chochote ambao utafunga hapa duniani shall be bound in heaven. Itafungwa kule juu mbinguni. And whatever you lose. Na chochote utapoachilia on earth ufungua hapa hapa itafunguliwa hata kule mbinguni now for your information na sasa kwa habari na taarifa zako if satan wants to attack you kama shetani anataka kukushika if satan wants to govern your life wakati anataka kutawala maisha yako one thing is going to do jambo la kwanza ambalo atafanya is to deny you the keys ni kukunyang'anya ama kukunyima ufunguo to access the kingdom of heaven ili ambaye inakuwezesha kuingia katika ubingu la bwana What am I talking about here? Ni nini hii ninazungumzia hapa? 
when you don't have access to the heavens wakati wewe hauna ile njia kuingia katika bingu when you don't have access to the kingdom of god wakati hapaya hauna njia kuingia katika ufalme wa bwana what is in the kingdom of god aha uh-huh. You cannot achieve it. Hauwezi lipokea. You cannot be a partaker of it. Hauwezi kuwa sehemu ya hilo jambo. Because you don't have keys to access the heavens. Maana una ufunguo ya kuingia katika bingu za bwaba. That's why someone walks into a bar. Hiyo ndio maana mtu anaingia katika vilabu ya uwenyo from the day she is 18 years old. Kwa ile nyakati ambayo alikuwa miaka 18. Until 60 years of age. Hata mpaka wakati anafika miaka 60 ya mwaka yake. So Hiyo ni kufungwa kiroho. That needs to be broken right now. Hiyo ndio tunataka kufunja siku ya leo. You to break that so tight. Ili ufunje hii ngano la nafsi. Lazima uwe na upenyo. To the keys. Katika ufunguo. Of the kingdom of heaven. Ya ufalme wa bingu. That whenever you pray. Kila wakati ambao unaomba. Your life. Maisha yako. Your blessing. Maraka zako. Your miracle. Miujiza wako. It will freely come from heaven. Itaweza kukuja kwa uwazi kutoka mbinguni. And be released into your life. Na itakuja mzuri katika maisha yako. Call upon God. Muite Mungu Baba. Because if you don't have the keys to access, maana kama una ufunguo ya kujiingiza, can you help me with the one key? Mtu tu anisaidie na ufunguo, si harufu ya ufunguo moja. Please quickly. Tafadhali kwa haraka. Can you give me one key? Nipatie tu ufunguo moja tafadhali and an padlock. Aha. Uh-huh. So we have keys here. Tunao fungua hapa. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Now when you look at this key, ukitazama ufunguo hili, it is designed imekuwa imeumbwa and manufactured na imetengenezwa to enter somewhere kuingia mahali to be ili ikaweze an instrument iwe ni chombo that is going to open ambayo itafungua. Many Christians are praying wa Kristo wengi wanaomba but they don't have keys to access the heavens lakini hawana ufunguo ya kuingia katika bingu but they are so prayerful lakini ni waombezi they are so givers in the house of god ni watu wa kuupeana kwa nyumba ya bwana but there is a sota lakini kuna nafsi ambayo imewakamata that has disabled their keys ambaye imeweza kutenga ufunguo zao this is very simple What the devil does You can be prayerful the unweza, devil will say it unweza, is okay You can even continue speaking in tongues You can even continue calling upon the names of all the angels Unaweza kuwa tu unaita majina zote za malaika But what I'm holding Lakini kile nimeshika kwa mikono yangu Hiyo ni ufunguo You can pray Unaweza omba For instance this is the third and the fourth realms Pengine hii ni bingu la kwaya ine na ya ya tano ya ya ine na tatu unaweza fanya maombi but it is going to be held in one of the realms na itashikwa katika hanga moja there is no penetration hakuna vile itapenya until the heavens mpaka kwa bingu let me tell you child of god wacha nikwambie mwana mungu today leo we are going to pray tunaenda kuomba that whatever the devil did kile ambaye shetani alifanya to deny you access kukuzuia kupata safasi ya bingu to deny you access kukuzuia kupata bingu lako as a child of god kama mtoto wa mungu that you cannot access the blessings that you desire that you don't access the miracles that you desire uwezi pata baraka na miujiza bwana unaitaji uwezi ingia katika ufalme wa bwana siku ya leo tunaomba today ambia jirani leo tunaomba today ambia jirani leo tunaomba today ambia jirani leo gaining my access ninaenda kuingizia to the kingdom of heaven katika ufalme wa bingu that's why hiyo ndio sababu if there is anyone here kuna mtu yote miongoni mwetu and god has given you access na mungu amekupatia upenyo Whatever you shall bind on earth Chochote ambao utafunga hapa duniani and whatever you shall bind on earth na chochote ambao utafunga hapa duniani shall be bound in heaven itafungwa mbinguni it shall be bound in heaven itafungwa mbinguni it shall be bound in heaven itafungwa mbinguni today we are going to do anything possible leo tunaenda kufanya chochote pasavyo it is you to confess all your sins hata kama itakupasa kuzingama dhambi zako can forgive you ili mungu akusamehe and gives you back the gift of righteousness na kupatie uta taluma la utakatifu wakati ambao unaanza kuomba haleluya haleluya 
the heavens are going to respond anga inaenda kujibu the angels are going to open their eyes malaika wanaenda kufungua macho zao and ears widely na masikio yao kwa upana to hear you ili wakusikie because today is the day maana leo ni siku ile that every sultan akuwa nafsi zote ambazo imejifunga katika maisha yetu every sultan kila nafsi ambayo imeunganishwa nasi katika ufuasi wa pesa yetu kila nafsi ambayo imetushika katika ndoa zetu it is going to be broken inaenda kuvunjwa in jesus mighty kwa jina la yesu today leo we are not applying an icing on a cake hatuendi kuweka kuweka maridadi katika keki if we talk about satan tukiongea juu ya shetani shetani can never be god shetani hawezi kuwa mungu if we talk about anything trouble tukiongea juu ya kila kitu ambaye ni shida trouble can never be joy shetani matatizo hayezi kuwa furaha if there is anything kama kuna jambo lolote that is connecting you ambaye inakuunganisha to whatever is tying you na chochote ambaye imekufunga it is going to be broken inaenda kuvunjika 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 tell your neighbor neighbor ambia jirani jirani i don't care sijali what people have been calling me kile watu wamekuwa kiniita today i'm coming in the presence of god lakini leo nakuja mbele za uwepo wa bwana whatever has been tying kwa chochote ambaye imenifunga physically katika uhungu physically katika uwepo wangu spiritually katika uhungu financially katika uhungu it must hear my voice lazima isikie sauti langu in jesus mighty name kwa jina la yesu kristo whatever shall bind on kwa chochote ambacho itafunga duniani it will be bound in heaven itafungwa mbinguni and whatever shall lose on na chochote ambacho litachilia hapa mbinguni itaachiliwa mbinguni inavachilia ninavunja ninasema achilia achilia jesus mighty name kwa dika nguna la Yesu Kristo this Thursday services siku ya leo alamisi ibada ambayo tunafanya leo they are going to be serious ones itakuwa ni ibada ambayo tunamakinika that people are coming to be delivered kwa watu wanakuja kuwekwa huru people coming to be healed watu wanakuja kupokea uponyaji we are not going to play around with what is disturbing you hatutakuja tu kucheza na kile inatusumbua and yet the glory of god sikiza utukufu wa bwana has been made manifest in our lives ambaye imefanywa wazi katika maisha yetu anything that devil kila chochote ambaye shetani has been trying to influence you amekuwa akilifanya kuifanya katika maisha yako it is in trouble iko katika shida i say it is in trouble nasema iko katika shida i say it is in trouble nasema iko kwenye shida i say it is in trouble nasema iko kwenye shida i say it is in trouble nasema iko kwenye shida i'm not going to stay here for long sitasimama hapa kwa muda because we want to deal with what has brought us here maana nataka tuweze kufanya kile imetuleta hapa we want to deal with it nataka tuweze kushughulikia katika jina la Yesu let's uh, open in the book of galatians tusome katika kitabu wa galatia Chapter 5. Ah. Um, sura yake ni ya 5. And, and 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 we're going to start from verse number 1. Nitaanza sura ya kwanza. Galatians 5. Ah, wa Galatia 5. Mstari wa kwanza. Verse number 1. Mstari wa kwanza. Listen to me child of God. Nataka unisikize mwana. The Bible says stand. Biblia inasema simama. First therefore. Usimame uko mkamalifu in the liberty by which Christ has made us free katika kuwekwa uru ambaye Kristo ametuweka uru and do not be entangled again with a yoke of bondage na usipate kushikanishwa na nira yoyote ya mizigo ama kufungwa you cannot be under bondage hauwezi kuwa katika kifungu and you say that you are a free man na unasema mimi niko uru and you say that you are a free woman na unasema mimi ni mwanamke niko uru the bondage must leave you na kuambia hiyo shida lazima kuachilie you must be disconnected lazima utengwe from what is binding you na kila ambaye imekufunga that now you can enjoy the liberty ili ukafurahie ile huru of Lord Jesus Christ ambaye Yesu Kristo the liberty of our Lord Jesus Christ ile huru wa Kristo Yesu is for you to be graced with the freedom ni wewe uweze kuunganishwa na uhuru wako the grace of freedom nehema ya kuwekwa huru is underlined by the liberty of god imeunganishwa na ile vile Mungu amekuunganisha nayo you cannot be free hauwezi kuwa huru until mpaka 
you are under the grace of liberty mpaka uwe katika chini ya neema ya kuwekwa huru when we talk about liberation wakati tunaongea kuwekwa huru it means you are coming from it inasema kuwa tunatoka kutoka mali pale and you are going into something new na tunaelekea katika jambo jipya from sin kutoka kwa dhambi to righteousness kwenda katika utakatifu in the middle there katika hapa katikati lies liberty kuna kitu ambacho tunaita huru on this side upande wa nyangambo hili lingine lies freedom kuna kuwekwa huru lies peace kuna amani because listen to me child of god nataka udisikie mwana wa mungu the liberty of our lord jesus christ uhuru wa yesu kristo it comes with salvation inakuja kutoka kwa ukombozi it comes with healing inakuja na uponyaji it comes with deliverance inakuja na ukombozi and it comes with mercy na inakuja na huruma so today lakini leo whatever satan chochote ambaye shetani has tried to tie you in amejaribu kukuunganisha ama kukufungisha ndani for your information wacha nikwambie kwa taarifa yako today is coming to the end leo inakuwa hatima ya mwisho wake i said today is coming to the end leo inatamatika i said today is coming to the end nasema leo linatamatika i said today is coming to the end nasema leo linafika mwisho of every bondage kwa kila fungu of every sultan kwa kila nafsi imekuunganisha kwa jina la Yesu Kristo there's something you need to separate from kuna kitu lazima ujitenganishe nayo that you can walk under the liberty of, of god ili uweze kutembea chini ya neema ya uhuru ya bwana some of you there are people you need to separate from kuna watu wengine ambao lazima tujitenge na watu wengine some of you wengine wetu there are places you need to stop staying kuna mahali ambayo lazima tuweze kutoka some of you as you are liberated from your bondages wengine wetu wakati tunaenda kutolewa na kuwekwa huru kwa Mungu tukirudi nyumbani there is something you need to go and speak to kuna kitu lazima tuende tukanenee and say from today na sema kutoka leo i'm no longer in this place mimi siko mali hapa i am no longer part of this community mimi sitahusika na hii watu i'm no longer part of this group mimi sitakuwa na hili tengo la watu in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu there are people who are living a lie kuna watu ambao wanaishi maisha ever since kutoka tangu you get you, you got connected with them wakati ule uliujiunganisha na wao that's how your life was scrambled hiyo ndio vile maisha yako iliweza kudidimia today we are breaking those so ties leo tunatoka katika kujitenga na hizi nafsi is there someone who went to witchcraft because of you je kuna mtu ambaye alienda kwa uganga kwa sababu yako is there someone who has been reporting you at your workplace every day je kuna mtu ambaye amekuwa ni mashtaka wako mahali unafanya kazi is there someone who has been sabotaging on you je kuna mtu ambaye amekuwa akikuendea chini anaenda chini chini kwa sababu ya kuito wako kwa sababu ya huduma yako on your finances kwa sababu ya fedha yako today siku ya leo every sota kila chochote ambacho kimekuunga kinafsi inaenda kuvunjwa say every sota nasema kila nafsi imekuunganisha to get broken inaenda kuvunjwa in the name of jesus kwa jina la yesu say be broken funjwa let me tell you child of god wacha nikwambie mwana wa mungu they someone kuna mtu who might have collected your sand kuna mtu pengine aliyokota mchanga nyayo mguu yako and they say as i collected this sand na anasema wakati naokota mchanga where he has stepped mali ameweza kukanyaga he will never prosper yeye hata nawili and that is what has eaten you the whole na hiyo ndio kile ambayo imekukula maishani There's someone ever since he put on your dress. Kuna mtu pengine vile alivaa vazi lako. She put on your dress, he put on your shirt. Alivaa vazi lako akaweka shati yako. And they something. Na kanena jambo. And they said ever since now. Na akasema kutoongea siku ya leo. Oh since now. Hata anzia saa hizi. He will never prosper. Hata na wili. Let me tell you child of God. Wacha nikwambie mwana wa Mungu. Whatever they did in darkness. Chochote ambao walifanya kwa giza. It is going to be exposed in light. Itawekwa kwenye nuru. In Jesus might and Wajina kuu ya Yesu whatever they did in darkness Chochote walifanya kwa giza is going to be exposed in light Itawekwa light in kwa mwangaza Kwa jina kuu la Yesu Sema moto Sema moto Fire Sema moto Fire 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 Moto
told you today we are not applying any icing on a cake. Nimesema leo hatuendi kufanya maridadi keki zetu. The devil is a devil. Shetani ni shetani. Satan is Satan. Shetani ni shetani. And when we talk about blessing, na tukiongea juu ya baraka, a blessing can never be called a curse. Baraka yesu itwa lahana. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. A blessing can never be called a curse. Baraka yesu itwa lahana. Whoever spoke a curse on your life. Na yote ambayo linena lahana juu ya macho yako. It has been tying you. Hata kama ni mtu ambaye anakufunga. Today you are getting disconnected. Leo unatengwa. I said today you are getting disconnected. Leo unatengwa. You are getting disconnected. Unatengwa. I said be disconnected. Nasema utengwe. Be disconnected. Itenganishwe. Be disconnected. Imetenganishwa. Jesus my Jesus. Kwa jina kula Yesu. You are under a so tie. Umekuwa katika kuungu la nafsi. That in your family. Katika familia yako. No one has ever seen marriage. Hakuna mtu ambaye ameona ndoa. That in your family. Katika familia yako. No one has ever counted counted a million shillings. Hakuna mtu ambaye amehesabu milioni ya fedha. You are coming from a family. Unatoka kwa familia that has been cursed. Ambaye imelaaniwa. Whoever tries to make it. Mtu hata ambaye anajaribu kutokea. Either they get an accident. Ni labda pata ajali. And die. Akufe or nothing happens. Ama hakuna chochote ifanyike. Today. Lakini leo. You are the kind of person I'm here Wewe ndio mtu ambaye niko hapa juu yake. You are the kind of person. Wewe ndio mtu ambaye I have put on this mal, ma, 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 maroon suit. Ndio maana nimevaa suti langu. Come and hear the voice of God. Nikuja nikasikia hey. sauti ya Bwana. Whatever he says upon your life. Kile atasema yes. juu ya maisha yako. It's going to come to pass. Itakuja kutukia. In Jesus mighty name. Kwa jina kula Yesu. Every so time. Chochote ambacho imekunga kinafsi. I am disconnected. Nina I am disconnected. I am disconnected. In Jesus mighty name. Kwa jina kula Yesu. There's someone here today. Kuna mtu hapa leo. You have been under a so time. Umekuwa katika kiungu ya kinafsi of addiction. Na ile hali ya kumazoea. If you don't smoke you don't have sleep. Kama wewe uwezi kuvuta sigara basi uliali. If you don't drink you feel like you don't have sleep. Kama hujakunywa usikii kama unalala. That's a so tie. Hiyo ni kuungani wa nafsi. In the name of Jesus. Kwa jina la Yesu. Whatever has been controlling your mind. Kile ambacho imekuwa ikiungana maisha yako. Whatever has been controlling your feelings. Kile imekuwa ikiunga maisha yako. Whatever has been controlling your life. Chochote ambacho inatawala maisha yako. It's getting disconnected today. Leo linaunganishwa na wewe. Disconnected. Yes. Nasema inatenganishwa. Nasema be disconnected. Yes. Nasema itenganishwe. Jesus is disconnected. Inatenganishwa. In Jesus mighty name. Kwa jina kula Yesu. The Lord is going to set you free. Yes. Bwana anaenda kukuweka huru. Yes. That's what I'm talking about. Hiyo ndio kile ninazungumzia. There are people whenever you get a job. Kuna watu ambao wakati wamepata kazi You spend on the job two good months. The third month. Miezi ya tatu. Before they suck you from that job. Kabla wajakufukuza kwa hiyo kazi. You give yourself a resignation letter. Wewe mwenyewe unaenda unasema umejuzulu. Whatever has been tying you to failure. Kile chochote ambacho imekuunganisha katika hali ya kuzimia. God is going to break it now. Mungu anaenda kuivunja leo. God is going to break it now. Mungu anaenda kuivunja sasa. God is going to break it now. Mungu anaivunja sasa. God is going to break it now. Mungu anaenda kuivunja sasa. Every so time. Sema kila nafsi imejiunga na mimi. Hiyo maisha yangu. Be broken. Ivunjike. Be broken. Nasema ivunjike. Be broken. Nasema ivunjike. Jesus mighty name. Kwa jina kula Yesu Kristo. The liberty of our Lord Jesus. Uhuru wa Yesu Kristo. We receive it as a package of freedom. Tunalipokea kama lile kiungu la kuwekwa huru. That's why when you get closer to righteousness. Hiyo ndio wakati ambao unasongea katika utakatifu you download liberation unaigiza lile hali ya kuwekwa huru into your life katika maisha yako that's why the safest christians on earth na hiyo ndio maana yule mkristo ambaye kwa mahali pema ama pazuri and on those who are under big pastors ninajua sio wale ambao wako chini ya wale watumishi wa and those who are Uh, congregating in bigger places wale ambao wanakusanyika katika kuzanyiko kubwa but to those lakini ni kwa wale who have embraced righteousness wale ambao wamejiunganisha na utakatifu and righteousness has drawn them closer to na utakatifu imewaleta karibu na Mungu you can be walking on the road and you're praying unaweza kuwa unatembea katika barabara na pale na Mungu anajibu maombi yako 
it's not that blue chair that you sit on is, is going to answer your prayer. Sio hiyo kiti ambayo umekalia ndio mombi lako. Never. Hapana la. It is what the person who sits on that chair carries inside of them. Ni kile yule mtu ambaye amekalia ile kiti ameilibeba. Don't even ever deceive yourself that I go to a very beautiful church and altar that Usi, that's where my blessing is. Oh. Usijidanganye ati ni kwa sababu nimeenda katika kanisa ambayo limerembeka na hiyo kanisa ina madhara kubwa lakini ni kile inatoka ndani yako. Ndio kile ambayo litakuleta karibu na utakatifu. Na ni lazima uwe karibu na utakatifu. Listen to me child of God. Nataka unisikie mwana Mungu. You are assigned with an assignment. Umeweza kuunganishwa na ile kiungo ya kuunganishwa of seeking the faith of God ya kutafuta uso wake Mungu that will lead liberation ambaye ataachilia neema ya kuachiliwa huru katika maisha yako na wakati unawekwa huru na kuambia kuwa huru ni sehemu yako ponyaji ni sehemu yako ukombozi ni sehemu yako let's stop asking questions wacha tuache kujiuliza maswali utakatifu can become a sultan inaenda kuwa ni wewe kujiunganisha kinafsi ambaye inaweza kukuzuia kuona kuwekwa huru kwa Mungu before you deal with the demons of your family kabla hujaanza kungangana na maroho za kifamilia before you deal with the altars of your family kabla hujangangana na madhabahu za familia zako be an altar of righteousness wewe kuwa kuwa madhabahu ya utakatifu Am I communicating with someone here? Yeye ni na mtu kanisani. Be an altar of righteousness. Kuwa madhabahu ya utakatifu. Let me tell you if you do that. Wacha nikwambie ukifanya hiyo jambo. You never be a man on earth. Hakutakuwa na mtu hapa duniani. You never be a woman on earth. Hakutakuwa na mtu hapa duniani. You never be anything on earth. Hakutakuwa na chochote duniani. You stand and oppose the devil. Ambaye tasimama na kupinga maisha yako. Katika maisha yako. Sometimes, sometimes I don't like to preach. Uh-huh. Because but lakini I feel in my spirit. Ninaisi katika nafsi yangu. There's something extraordinary. Kuna kitu ya kiajabu ya kiungu that is about to happen to you. Ambaye inaenda kufanyika katika maisha yako. And your father is not a messenger of it. Na baba yako sio mwenye kuleta ile habari. Your neighbor is not a messenger of it. Jirani yako sio mwenye kukuletea habari ile. The person close to you is not a messenger of it. Na yule ambaye amekukaribia sio mwenye kuleta ujumbe. Lakini Mungu mwenyewe trying to communicate to you. Atajaribu kuzungumza na wewe. Because he has seen how long you have been suffering. Maana ameona jinsi umekuwa ukiteseka. He has seen how long you have lost. Ameona jinsi ambao umepoteza kwa maana wewe. He has seen how many days you have struggled. Ameona vile umepoteza kwa mekarimu lakini anasema nataka nikuje nikubariki mtoto wangu Today leo this service is called no mercy Hii ibada tunaita ni ibada bila huruma When the tournaments wakati ambaye kuna mashindano that are held everywhere ambaye zinafanyika kila mahali they give them crazy names wanawapatia majina za kiajabu and i'm telling you when those uh, footballers they go into that pitch na wacha nikwambie wakati wale wa kucheza soka wanaingia kwenye kiwanja if there is one side that has been won kama kuna ile msemu ambayo ninashinda you, you see an exchange of blows unaona watu wanapigana makonde hallelujah hallelujah But when we come in the house of God. Lakini wakati tunakuja kwa nyumba la Bwana. We are so gentle. Sisi ni watu ambao tuna ustaarabu. Hallelujah but we are Hallelujah. sitting on a lot of problems. Lakini tumekalia mashida mingi. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. Let me tell you today. Wacha nikwambie leo. The service is called no mercy. Hii ibada tunaita ibada bila huruma. When the devil comes to attack you. Maana wakati shetani anakuja kukuandama. When Satan comes to encamp around you. Wakati shetani anakuja kukuzingira. He does not smile. Sisi hatucheki. Ni yele aishi ama kufe. Lakini kulindwa kwetu ama ulinzi wetu. Our protection. Ulinzi wetu it is in one position. Iko mahali ambayo limetengwa. In the position of righteousness. Ni katika kutengwa pale mahali panaitwa patakatifu. 
position of righteousness. Ni mahali pale patakatifu. Let us try as much as we can. Wacha tujaribu jinsi ambavyo tunaweza. Even if something happens to you today. Hata kama kuna kitu itakufanyikia leo. It's coming to, to, to 7 p.m., right? Aya najua inakuja saa moja. By the time 8 comes. Na ile wakati comes. Na ile wakati saa 2 itaweza kufika. You are on your knees. Wewe uko kwenye magoti lako. And you tell God. Ukimwambia Mungu, please forgive me. Baba nisamee. I don't know what I'm doing. Sijui nini nafanya. But Father I, I, I ask you to forgive me. Lakini Baba naomba ukanisamee. Sanctify me. Baba nitakase. I acknowledge my sins. Ninakubaliana na dhambi zangu. If you want to overcome a soul tie. Ukitaka kushinda kuunganwa na nafsi have a free spirit that can be adjusted by the holy spirit ambaye inaweza kutenganishwa ama kuunganishwa na roho mtakatifu have a a justified spirit uwe na ile nafsi ama roho ambaye inaweza kutengenezwa himself will come and adjust it Mungu mwenyewe ndiye atakuja na aweze kuirekebisha because if you're not ready for adjustment kama utakuwa tayari kwa urekebisho you are nowhere closer to righteousness wewe uyuko karibu na utakatifu I remember there's a brother one day nakumbuka kuna ndugu mmoja I don't know if I prophesied over his life on TikTok. Sijui kama niliweza kutabiri kwa maisha yake ama nilitabiri kupitia mtandao wa TikTok. And I told him brother. Na nilimweleza ndugu, there is a spirit of addiction. Kuna roho ya ya mazoea. But if you're not careful, na usipokuwa mwangalifu, it will lead you to another place. Itakuelekeza mahali pengine. That was an addiction of smoking ilikuwa ni ile mazoea ya kuvuta sigara and i told him god will deliver you na nikamweleza mungu atakukomboa but lakini you need to make a tough decision lakini itakupasa uweze kufanya muamuzi you need to make a tough decision itakubidi uweze kufanya uamuzi no one can ever force you to enter a place of righteousness hakuna mtu ambaye atakulazimu uingie mahali pale patakatifu even if a pastor prays for you hata kama mchungaji atakuombea even if bishops around this area they call themselves hata kama askofu katika hii eneo wakusanyike they come and pray for you na wakuja wakuombee if you have not made a tough decision kama wewe hujafanya uamuzi Tell me but today I make a tough decision. Ambia jirani ninafanya uamuzi. Because I'm tired of what is tying me. Maana nimechoka kwa kile ambayo imeniunganisha naye. It is either I do it now. Ni hivi nifanye saa hizi or never. Ama niachilie. 